A moving object of mass m and velocity v has a momentum of mv. A change in the momentum of an object is equal to the impulse response applied to it. A bullet fired from a gun has a momentum equal to mv given by the mass of the bullet m and its velocity v. If the bullet strikes a box, there will be a change in the momentum, which is equal to m times delta v. This change in momentum results in an impulse response being applied to the box, which is equal to f times delta t. So, we have f times delta t equals to m times delta v. This is Newton's second law of force. Similarly, wind has momentum that is given by mass of the air and wind speed. The momentum of incoming wind causes the blade to rotate. Now, how to calculate how much force that is applied to the blade due to the change in wind momentum? As we know, the blade will split the incoming wind into two parts. One that flows to the front part of the blade, Vf, and one that flows to the back side of the blade. Pb. So, the change in wind momentum is given as the mass of the air, m, times Vb minus Vf. As the wind passes through the blade, the wind will interact with the blade for a certain period of time, delta t, which is defined by the profile of the blade. A wider blade will result in longer interaction period. In this case, the interaction period delta t is equal to the width of the blade, W, divided by the speed of the front wind, Vf. As we derived earlier, change in wind momentum results in an impulse response being applied to the blade, or F times delta T equals to M times Vb minus Vf. So, after summarizing all these equations, we have obtained the equation of force that is due to the wind momentum as the force F is equal to the mass of the air M times the difference between back wind and front wind velocity Vb minus Vf times Vf divided by the width of the blade W. Next, we are ready to derive the most important equation for blade design, which is the torque. Now, how much torque T that can be produced by this wind generated force to the blade? The wind force to a blade of length L will produce torque T which is equal to the wind force times the length of the blade L. By substituting the wind force formula, we can express the torque equation as seen here. So, we finally derive the detail of the torque equation, which is the ABC expression of torque. A is the mass of the air, B is the air in motion, which is the wind velocity, and C is the blade itself, which is the aspect ratio of the blade. Basically, this torque equation concludes that we need air and air in motion through the blades to generate torque to produce electricity. Before starting design, we need to know the available wind resources by measuring the wind speed at a specific height by anemometer. In this case, the available wind speed is 3 to 10 meters per second. The minimum required torque to turn the generator is equal to 0.015 Newton meter. For the wind turbine to generate useful energy, the generated torque by the blade has to be higher than the minimum torque specified by the generator. So, how much torque can the blade generate? To answer this, first we need to calculate the mass of the air that passes through the blade. Mass of the air can be calculated from air mass density, rho air, times the volume of the air. In this case, air mass density is approximately equal to 1.225 kg per meter cube. On another hand, volume of the air is equal to the area of blade rotation times the width of the blade, W. Initial blade aspect ratio, L to W, is set to 15 to 2 cm. 
we can obtain the mass of the air is equal to 1.7 grams as seen from calculations here. Next, we calculate the air motion or the aerodynamic components of the torque. The back wind velocity, Vb, is assumed to be equal to the available wind speed as 3 to 10 meters per second. As we mentioned earlier, the blade will split the wind into back wind and front wind. The ratio between them is defined by the angle of attack, theta. In this case, the front wind velocity, Vf, is approximately equal to cos theta times back wind velocity, Vb. If the angle of attack, theta, is equal to 60 degrees, cos theta is equal to 0.5 and we have the front wind speed to be 1.5 to 5 meters per second. Hence, at wind speed of 3 meters per second, the torque T is equal to 0.0287 newton meter. You may check the detail calculations in here. As seen in the detail calculations, the range of torque is equal to 0.0287 to 0.64 newton meter. This amount of torque will be sufficient to turn the generator to generate electricity.